Alright. Head for Bungie. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that one of the strippers? Is yeah, it's the, I think it's the second one I've clicked on there. Is that one of the uh, thingies? It's the male stripper Which one, one is on it? there. Which one is it? Number one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and the gun. I'll go for two. <laughs> Matching set. What have you done? <laughs> You're missing out here, Callum. You need to get in here quick. Yeah. What have you done? <laughs> We've uh, picked character models and... Um, you can buy character models with the cash that you earn. So we've got two male stripper models. <laughs> oh, that's nice. How much money this is you earn? I've still got left over from last time, I think. So we're back in Just Cause 2. And it's not every day you see a guy in pink pants flying towards a big, fat um, Zeppelin. That's the word, Zeppelin. So this is the Mile High Club on, on Just Cause 2 multiplayer. Um, Having a bit of fun here, just killing a few guys, randomly running about. It's where most people just jump in. Now we've got the teleportation um, bit we can use in the chat. So you can basically jump to anywhere you want on the map, or at selected points anyway, I should say. There's about seven or eight different places you can jump to, including some pie, which uh, hopefully I'll show some footage of for you in a little while. Um, so, we just want to really to show you what's changed, what sort of fun's going on. Um, obviously we, you saw the skin change over before, so this was now my favourite dude. Um, and why not? A guy in pink pants, shooting a shotgun or a sniper rifle, is of course everyone's day. Uh, well, of course, it would be better if it was a lady in pink pants, but never mind, it's okay. Yes, anyway, <laughs> so Callum's on here with me, and our mate Ash, uh, running about, going a bit insane. I'm going to show you some footage um, of some racing today. Um, missed out on that on the last video and I think that's actually quite fun um, it really is quite diverse it goes from racing buses to Ferraris to bikes to helicopters versus cars a bit like Top, Gu uh, Top Gear even on TV uh, which is pretty funny so a few things have changed on the HUD um, now when you're driving a car which I'll show you in a bit you get a groovy heads up display of the speed the car's going a uh, bit controversial, not everyone liked it, but I like it, it's cool, you can even turn it off. Before we get any further, look at this. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Dancing man. Uh, then some guy look, ruins it. For goodness sake. I was about to do my show, the pole's there, and some guy comes and ruins it. Oh, always the way. How great is that? Awesome. Uh, yeah, the the, uh, the hit, um, hit detection is much better now in the game. I have to say, I can actually shoot things a little bit now. So straight into racing. Here we are. Some groovy cars going on here. Um, I'm actually really crap at it. I'm using a keyboard to be fair, and a lot of my friends are using a controller. So you get a bit more incremental control, obviously, of the car, like you're doing a racing thing. But the braking is crap. If you press brake on a keyboard, you literally just spin the car which I was virtually impossible. You had to slow down really carefully before the corners and just take the corner without braking. Otherwise you'd just spin the car. Even the slight tap of the brake, it's just crazy. But it's really good fun. Now some of the races had um, hit detection on and some of the races you could just ghost through people and it was actually more of just a time challenge. And then some of the races like this one had like just super slow-mo trucks and it just took ages to get around the, the actual um, the course. It was seven laps of like a ten minute lap, which did get a bit drab, I have to say. They do need to speed up a little bit or make the laps a bit like shorter on the slow vehicles because you can waste virtually an hour's worth of your game just going around one like race. It's a bit, it's, <laughs> it's a bit crazy, really crikey. So next up, some bikes. Now on this one, you had to get the checkpoints and the checkpoints were put at some crazy places on, on, the, on the course. And in this particular one, it was on the top of a mountain. And trying to get up there is just crazy. You had to get the right speed, I think. I just didn't get the knack oh, of it. Um, you can see the speedometer actually on the left. You probably noticed that already. But I think it's quite cool. It's even 3D. If you turn the camera around, you can actually look at it backwards, back to front, mirror image style. But trying to get to the top of this mountain, impossible. Absolutely impossible. I think in the end, I went around the outside and cheated and went up the back of it instead. This was pretty cool. This is fun. Now, the floor is really slippy on ice, and it's a really tight course. All you have to do is go around and keep a tight circle. 
but let's watch the people just go flying off. Zoom! <laughs> and last stop now, my little showcase of the buses. Now, count the number of checkpoints. There's 33. And check the speed of the bus. Yeah. I got bored. Again, is this too long? <laughs> it's like endurance. You need like a, a tag team to someone go and have like a, a, some toast or something, a cup of tea or coffee while someone else is driving and then swap over. It took that long. Now this is what it's all about. Check this out. This is just awesome. I thought it'd be really funny to connect my little uh, wire to a helicopter and you can actually just drag someone along. <laughs> Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So we tried to connect two together at the same time and have like a caterpillar of cars being carried by a helicopter. Unfortunately, you can only connect one wire to one um, vehicle at one time by the looks of it. So after we got bored of that, the admin decided to say, forward slash raw power, and you could pull out some bubble guns. Yeah, look, nin ninja bubble gun. <laughs> be scared be very scared absolutely awesome completely useless but I'm just trying to show how much fun you could have in this game absolutely insane you can just pick up this game really cheap on Steam by the way just go and grab it it's so funny and the mod's free just to download at the moment it's so easy just to get running now on the same note of tying things together we grabbed two helicopters and just strung a wire between them again and this is pretty much what happened. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Needless to say, it didn't go very well. <laughs> God, dear. So then we thought it'd be funny to uh, set up the helicopter on the road and uh, do the movie shot of a car hitting the helicopter. But the amount of air you could get off the helicopter was insane. Like, you just bump into it and the, and the go-kart... Go-kart? Quad bike, even, would go absolutely mental. I think Debbie Callum wins it on this one. Check this out. Whoa. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed that as much as we did playing it. Um, hope to see you on here next time, so follow the link in the description. Don't forget to send us a little like or a sub if you want to see some more. And uh, looking forward to the next Beta Weekend.